Right, and Phil, we also wanted to know uh, what is the development on the C one thirty J front. So you know, because it's been some time since we spoke about it. So uh, what is? How do you plan to improve upon the supply chain for C one thirty J here? Because we are not making them here. So, but uh, we are, uh, you know, here. And is there a plan on that front? We could make something for the global market for C one thirty. That would be like a participation in the Make in India from Lockheed Martin. Sure. Well, we already are making in India for C one thirty, and we have been for almost ten years now. Uh, we produce one hundred over 100 tail empennages for the C-130. So every C the last 100 C-130s we've made have tails that have been made in Hyderabad. And that's a significant part of the uh, global supply chain based here in India. Uh, as you know, the C-130J program has been an FMS, a government-to-government -government, uh, program, uh, where we support the US government in supplying capability uh, to India. Um, and um, you know we've uh, we've supplied 12 aircraft already. Uh, there was a very uh, unfortunate incident back in 2014, uh, and uh, the Indian Air Force uh, elected to replace that aircraft that they lost, um, and um, uh, that should be supplied later this year. So that's kind of a development, if you like, probably since the last time we spoke. Um, so that will be supplied, and and. You know, the, the C-130J has been very successful with the Indian Air Force. I mean, we've, we've been very proud to support that program and, and see how the aircraft has been used. Uh, and, um, uh, and we, you know, very much hope that there will be um, additional requirement for that kind of capability um, uh, moving forward. So the C-130J, we hope, is here to stay and, and uh, for uh, have additional potential opportunities for that with the Air Force and also potentially some of the other services or uh, yeah, right. uh, government agencies that, that require uh, utility transport aircraft. Uh, C-130, as we've seen here in India, can operate at the extremes of height, uh, having landed in Dola Begoldi mm. um, a couple of years ago, yes. the highest landing strip in the world. So if it can yeah. land there, it can land yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't always need a landing strip, and that's the beauty, um, you know, for humanitarian assistance and all these kind of things. Uh, it's really proved its worth. It's obviously got an operational mission uh, for the Air Force, but, you know, some of these other things like humanitarian assistance and so on, it's a very, very valuable uh, aircraft that can go almost anywhere. So I think there is a, um, you know, potential opportunity for further C-130s, but obviously that is a government decision. There was I also think there's some